Coach Lisa here, owner, founder of Challenge You Softball and Cut It Concentric Hitting Certification. I wanted to make a how-to video uh, for players out there that practice themselves outside. It's very important that you become accountable for how you train, um, and that means you taking the time to train yourself on your own time, making sure you're watching your mechanics, and do it in a cut it circuit progression format. And that's exactly why I'm making these videos for you. So, how do we train ourselves outside? How do we go practice and set up a drill outside? Here are three crucial must-haves when you're setting up a drill outside or in your home to practice yourself. Now, step one, the first thing you need is a net to hit the balls into. Uh, I personally, after having many different nets, I personally prefer the rocket net. The rocket net to me is the best because it's lightweight, it's affordable, the link is below for you to easily get this, um, and it lasts a very long time. My favorite, favorite part, believe it or not, is the size of the bag. Now, I could put so much stuff in here. So step one is make sure you get yourself a net and all your tools. Let's see what my tools consist of. One, I have my bat. Two, I have my net set up. Three, I have my rocket training band so I could attach to a fence Put it on my body, put it on my bat, we'll go through a lot of circuits for that, um, and train myself. Four, I have my tape. Most importantly, there's one more thing you need. You need a speaker for music, because when you practice with music, everything's just that much better. Now the first thing you want to do, if you check one off your list of three for your drill setup, is you want to set up your tee. My personal favorite, Tanner tee. Good price, lasts a long time, light, can throw it anywhere to practice. So, Tanner tee, set up your Tanner tee. Uh, two, you want to set up all your stuff. You want to set up your net. You want to set up what you're going to do as far as the drill progressions. And uh, watch me set that up right now. One is get your gear, put it in your bag, go to your location, find a spot to set up. Two, set up your net, set up your tee, set up your balls, set up your music. Three is an awesome, vital progression that I'm going to teach you guys now. Now, all Cut It Concentric certified hitting coaches know that this is part of our first new lesson um, progression. First thing you want to do is you want to check out their swing, their stance, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to show you the drills that you want to do. So I'm going to give you a big secret. Now, first drill that you want to do is we want to do the bat behind the back drill. What you're going to do is you're going to set up your bat. And this is going to work on your bottom half. Now, I don't want your bat here. We don't swing at a level this high, and you're more likely to pull, and there's no control there. So I want your bat here, okay? Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna work on just driving your bottom half. So we're gonna load, leg lift, drive, okay? You wanna really make sure that you're driving that bottom half and freezing after. And you could say it, eccentric, lift, concentric. And every drill that you do and every swing that you do is your all. You know, train your mind mentally. Right now, I want to get in a state of flow. I want to have a growth mindset just to make sure that if I do slip up, I'm good. I'm okay. I always got it. So I'm here. I'm in a state of flow. I'm going to really try to strive forward hard this time. So that's progression one. Do three rounds of 12 of that. Now, I do puzzle piece training. So the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna have something to balance on, something to kneel on. I wanna work on my upper half, okay? So when you set up this drill, um, a lot of time coaches don't set it up correctly. Make sure that you're not having your player train for contact fully extended. Make sure that you're having them bring their hands back and drive when that ball is just about at their knee for this drill specifically. Um, so what we'll do here to break down that second half and the top half is we'll have our hands up and then we'll put this all together. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to pull back so I get into my upper half eccentric um, separation. By feeling this, I know that I'm creating an elastic band to drive through the ball. After that, I want to pull and poke. And when you poke, make sure that you're training yourself very detailed. You know, you want to make sure that your cheek is on your shoulder and you want to make sure that you're really in the zone. You can choke up on your bat and eventually put this together like a puzzle. We work the bottom half, now we're working the top half. And now part three of your training, we're gonna stand and we're gonna put this together. 
So we're gonna do the bottom half training with the top half for a full swing off the tee. So get set up and we're gonna combine both now. All right, so we have our bottom half. We're gonna lift, drive, and then I have my top half where my cheek is gonna connect to my back shoulder. And I'm gonna try to drive through. And off my back arm, my back hip, my back shoulder, and throw. But I'm gonna freeze at the power V. That is step five, a cut of concentric hitting. Load, lift, freeze. Now this is training me in a detailed form. Um, I know now how to train myself for clean mechanics. Another awesome thing about this net is that the balls don't bounce back at you. I've learned that with even more expensive nets. So this is a good one. Lift, pop. We'll go one more. Lift, pop. Now we put it together. After doing so many different progressions, write-ups, this after 10 years, I've learned gets your players to understand what they have to do with each part of their body and then put it together. All right, so take your time with this coaches, take your time with this players. Load, lift, then through. Load, lift, through. Make sure that your player's head is in. Um, eventually, they can really work on throwing their belly button out to the pitcher. But for the sake of younger athletes, make sure that their head is in to train them to see what they're doing. The extension is the longest part of the swing. And that, my friends, is exactly how you get yourself to work outside. You grab your bucket bag, you put your tools in it that you need, you grab a bucket of balls, you grab your tanner tea, you set up. While you're setting up, you're thinking what progression you're doing in your head. The last thing you must do is you must do the bottom half breakdown, then the top half breakdown. As long as you'd like, I recommend at least three sets of 12, and then you put it all together. And you could be aware of what you're doing if you're off, as far as if your head's not in, as far as if you're not driving, because you broke it down into segments, so now you're paying extra attention to it. All right, just a little how-to video on how to set up a drill for yourself and practice on your own. We can only tell you what to do. We can only teach you what to do. We can only train you whatever amount of times a week, two times typically. Um, but you have to do the work and you have to do it. So hopefully this will motivate you to get out there, do it, put some jams on, and enjoy it. I mean, this is a pretty fun game. I got a pretty awesome job. Thanks, guys. ChallengeYourSoftball.com. GoCutIt.com. Get certified today. Private lesson hitting coaches. Do it.